Well, it's like July 21st, and uh, I just uh, having an amazing summer this year as far as bizarre warm weather goes. I mean, first it's wet, then it's humid, then it's warm, and uh, I just uh, had unbelievable garden produce growing so fast this year. I've already done canning pickles, steel pickles, and uh, going to be doing sweet pickles pretty soon. And uh, had to hoe out and, and take the seeds off the kale already. It's gone to seeds. Strawberries are done. Peas are huge. I'm already canning peas. And this early in the year, uh, the, I mean, the vines on the peas are huge and just hanging. Um, I've got corn that's like six feet tall. And I'm already harvested the cabbage most of it this morning because it's uh, getting to the point where those moths are going to come pretty soon. And, decimate my cabbage crop and uh, we've got um, cucumbers that have just taken off since Eric moved the dirt pile like I said I'm already doing cucumbers rhubarb is huge um, this is the these came up out of compost actually beans were planted here and I don't know if we're getting beans but anyways this uh, spaghetti squash just kind of moved in and took over and uh, biggest surprise for me today Blackberries are a month ahead, um, loaded with green berries already, and it's usually August and September before I get blackberries. And, uh, and then we come out here, and this morning discovered this pumpkin. I don't know if you can see it here, the sun shining on my camera. Huge pumpkin already in the garden. It's July 21. Berries are coming. Um, and you know, I was so worried in the spring because we had so much rain, but it made me realize we obviously didn't water our garden enough over the years, early enough, I guess, because this is, I'm gonna plant more cabbage. I love cabbage and I planted that savoy cabbage this year and we're really, really liking it. It's still with the crinkly leaves. And this is the bed I was worried about because it was so um, wet here in the spring. The flowers are doing good. The peppers are slow. Not peppers, these are uh, uh, butternut squash. But I've been harvesting huge zucchini off of here. And I planted these beans late, really late. And they got kind of buried in the zucchini. But they're all starting to climb now all over the place. Eric's, uh, we're, we're putting addition on the front of the chicken coop, so that's why you hear the um, tractor making all the noise now. This is our northern garden over here. I let the wildflowers grow because the bees are phenomenal this year. There's our bee house over there. I don't know if you can see a if I can zoom in when I'm on video or not. Let me see if I can. Uh, well, maybe not. Anyways, this garden as well, I've harvest, already harvested um, cauliflower and huge broccoli heads. There's little small peppers on the pepper plants already. The tomatoes are just hanging. Um, I'm recording this because we don't usually have a year this good this early. This is usually what I'm canning and harvesting in September, in October. My celery is like two months bigger than it usually is at this time of year. Makes me wonder what kind of winter we're going to have or, or late summer or something. But I'm going to take advantage of this and start canning. And uh, I'm also going to plant a second crop. What? Everyone sees. Okay. Well, she's going to make a hole and lay an egg in the dirt then. Don't worry about it. I'll come and get it later. But anyway, uh, just thought for those of you who are following our, our farming thing, this is Manitoulin Island in the north here. Eric's uh, working on increasing it. We have turkeys this year. So he's increasing the size of the turkey chicken pen so the turkeys will have a nice place to get bigger and bigger. So see the bees? We made this bee sanctuary. Can you hear them?
they're very happy. They're doing a really good job. The hives have really increased in size already. They're full. Eric says there's tons of honey in them already. And so we actually may get more honey this year. We didn't expect to because this is the first year for these bees. But all's well at Teasing Farm.